Streak is at 48. We're going to blue baby. We have... Oh, dude. We have empty vessel and we have sulfur. I also have the, the cord thingy that... Uh, what's it called? Makes uh, uh, electric currents between all my familiars. So that's pretty neat. Okay, I want to try and get this guy in the middle here. Come on. Come on. Hello? Sir? We're on the right track. Oh. Why do you run away? Okay. Easy baby game. My starting damage is pretty average as well. It's actually pretty much exactly average. 3.5 is average. We have 3.55. Uh, my tier rate is a bit below average, but I mean, we have Sulfur, which is going to give me Brimstone every third room. And most importantly for the boss room, so... Um, uh-oh. Okay. So this shouldn't be an issue. I don't know, this is just seems like a very mellow run. A nice warm-up. A fitting warm-up. I'm doing it. Oh. Unfortunate. All right, I have Sulfur up. Let's clear this. Famine. Because this run wasn't easy enough yet. We're going to get a Meat Cube. We're also going to get Famine stuck in an Endless Loop. Because that's what you do with Famine. Oop, keep charging. Thank you. You bought a big fancy tent. Are you going camping? I mean, what else would you buy a tent for, I guess? I guess you can camp in your own backyard. I mean, we did that as kids. You know, it was an easy way to camp unsupervised. Or at least largely unsupervised. Is this floor looping? The only way I can explain to myself this, uh, yeah, this boss room placement. A backyard in this economy? Yeah, I mean, back in my days, our parents could actually afford such uh, luxuries. Ooh. Just gonna take that. I don't care about this. Uh... Okay, I might as well peek inside here, even though there's probably nothing I want or can't purchase for that matter. See? Backyard, I told you. Keep making fun of me for assuming people have backyards. Alright, I mean... I've been... I've been doing Eden Roulette for quite a while now. Do I still need to explain to you guys how much I love Sinus Infection? Booger Tears are so good. Actual boss killers, which is great because now I have Brimstone and I have Booger Brimstone basically. That's fantastic. They meant tent as a euphemism. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Maybe. Who knows? Only Adam knows. The room is probably above or below me in that last room. Is my Brimstone gonna be green? Oh, heck yeah, dude. I want actual Brimstone. I want actual brimstone. Come on, let's do it. Spider bite is okay. I'm afraid that's gonna make my brimstone white now instead of green. Not really what I want. Really tempted to just pop the black heart in this room, but I'm gonna do the sensible thing and not pop it. I'm totally gonna try and meet cube something and pop it on accident. Watch. Ooh, that was close. No. No accidental poppage yet. That's a lot of boogers. <laughs> oh, there was a key drop in that last room. I better go and pick that up. Well done for getting a 48th streak before today's stream. Yes, yes. That is what I did. Rip the 69th streak from April 1st.
a sad day. Uh, just this. Sure, we can bought that right away. I'll take some resources. Find it so hard to to decide in this kind of room who to give priority to, like kill priority, who to go for first. Because you have these two guys that chase you down, which are typically the dudes you want to attack first, right? But like the poops could technically all come at you at the same time, right? Because they move in random directions. There's no telling where they go. What if they all come for you at the same time and they're really quick to take out? Oh man, you're not gonna get me to 15, really? Ooh. Never mind. Jesus. You are gonna give me the 15. Okay, we found uh, the treasury. Oh man, it was a ruse. The treasury is empty. Definitely taking this now. Oh, we can go to the store. Let's go to the store and get 4.5 volt, ladies and gents. Or the big blarg placebo i did i'm always so tempted to go for placebo but not when i have this neat little sulfur thing going on here give pete a head pat yeah pete's a happy penguin now I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna use the high priestess on the boss anyway. Also, this is a rare room. I don't think I've seen this room more than like three times, maybe, if at all. Pretty rare one. Good news, your beam is still green. The the day is saved. Whoops. Oh god. Jesus. I swear to god, like, the worst thing about Haunt isn't even, like, Haunt himself, it's the mini haunts. Alright, wire coat hanger is great. Let's see what's in here, even though I might regret it. I don't, I don't regret this, but it's not gonna be good either. Never mind. That's good. That is a bomb. And that is a bunch of pills. Hmm. I, I mean, I won't lie, I didn't improve a whole lot on these first two floors. Actually, I mean, I got Boogers and I got Bob's Curse. I guess that's pretty good. Let's go for the secret room. And then we, I guess we can peep inside that, um, that dice room. Although... There's a very big chance I'm not going to be using it, but might as well. Oh, hi. It, you know me. I can never say no to this room or to this kind of room. It's impossible. Impossible for me to say no to these. Rerolls all pickups on the entire floor. Okay, so I'm going to take this to get a 15 cents and then reroll everything else that's here. We roll the coin into a coin. Fantastic. We rolled this heart into a guppy piece, though. And I don't really have any use for the cord, so... There was also apparently still... Something in here that I re-rolled. Oh, right, the pill. Sure. The guppy waiting room has been opened with the child's drawing, ironically. The, the guppy piece that doesn't do anything. But hey, I mean... Don't really have any use for that. There was something. Oh yeah, there were hearts in here that I couldn't take because I had full HP. All right, the the dice room. <clears throat> Whoa, that voice cracked. The dice room actually ended up pretty good. If you get two more guppy pieces and then drop the trinket, do you still have guppy? No. As of repentance, losing a guppy piece actually loses you guppy. The same goes for dead cat actually. If you use up all your dead cat lives, guppy runs out. I want to go to that curse room now that we're in a guppy waiting room, but not with this HP. Not with this amount of HP. All right, slow down tears coming in, coming in strong. 
Booger Tears coming in strong too. So nice with these kinds of enemies. You hit one Booger Tear and you can actually move on to the next enemy. Because they'll just get killed by the tick damage. Sweet. Alright, let's get something good in the store. I mean, the Soul Heart is great. Temperance card. Now I'm sure I'll find a use for you. I found out the bad way after sacrificing all of lies in a sack room and wasn't guppy anymore. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. Oh boy. What's my luck stat? How am I firing that many boogers? Not that I'm complaining, but it's a lot more than you usually see. Hey, it is one of the best babies. I can bring the empty vessel online, yes, and it's really tempting to do so. But I also kind of want to wait for a, for an opportunity to get more money out of it. Although this seems pretty good already with 13 cents. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put the empty vessel online. Oh, or not, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> good job, probs. I tried to be efficient there, clear the room at the same time as I empty my heart containers, you know? Yup. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. That's fine. We're on devil deals. I'm gonna get rid of that heart at some point, right? Right? Ah! It'll be fine. Well, at least, at least missing out on the money now literally doesn't matter with this golden penny on the, on the floor. Wait, so is this the path to the boss? I turned away from the other path, path because I thought it would lead to the boss room. This might just be a mid-boss room that I turned away from. Oh no, wait, this is just a dead end. This is just a random dead end. This is the super secret, right? There's no way the game created such a long corridor without it being the super secret room. Right? Right? Right. Oh. That doesn't help. I could use the hanged man to at least get inside the uh, curse room for free, but... Not sure that's the play. What? What? Oh, uh, it's to the left of that uncleared room up there, and I'm out of bombs. Is there a bomb in the store? Uh, that could be a bomb. Oh, sweet. How am I out of bombs? I had 10 after floor 2. And now I'm out on floor 3. What am I doing? <laughs> Did I have 10 after floor 2? I might not have had 10 after floor 2. Who knows? It's got to be here, right? Oh, heck yeah. Finally found it. And all of that for an Emperor card and another Hanged Man. Okay. I mean, Emperor card's pretty good. I just earned myself a free clear of the chest. All right, Rotten Baby is successfully aggroed. I repeat, Rotten Baby is successfully aggroed. I, I explain this every time I have him, but I can I guess I can get over him again. Rotten Baby can actually aggro on enemies, right? Like if he gets close to an enemy at any point, he aggros on him, and after he aggros for as long as you hold down the fire button, flies will instantly go for that enemy until it's dead. Watch. See? See they they immediately move in as soon as they spawn, no matter how far away I am. Because I was close to that enemy once. Very useful in a lot of scenarios. And also part of the reason why Rotten Baby is so good. Because you can get a, a very consistent stream of damage going with it. With its flies. This can ruin me, but I'm risking it anyway. Okay, minus tier rate plus damage, and it didn't do anything to my HP. 
That that was that's not terrible. Although minus tier eight always sucks from that thing. But I I I want to say I broke even. I want to say I broke even. Although the lowered speed uh, that hurts a bit. Oh. Also, why did I go to the big room first? Ah, yes, right. I wanted to uh, fill up the sulfur for the other big room. <laughs> yep, that was it. At least it wasn't damage and tier right down, and it didn't lower my health. The experimental treatment. I don't know. I just felt in a gambling mood. I don't normally use that thing. There, look, look how the look how the fly just goes for the enemy immediately. Beautiful. Rotten baby is so good. Uh, I want to look for the secret room over there to potentially get into that challenge room. No, guys, don't do it. They did it. I want to look for the secret room, but at the same time, I only have one bomb, so not worth it right now. All right, I spent all those bombs in the secret room. That's where they all went. Well, that was worth it, though, because I had fun. I, I hate that item. <laughs> I'm also in the guppy waiting room with the kids drawing. Like, I can't take that. I'm legally obligated to uh, stay on the guppy piece. I really wish I could get my tier raid back. I always tell you guys I prefer high tier raid, low damage very much to low tier raid, high damage. And right now I have the latter. The good news is my, my tier rate isn't like atrocious, right? I still have above average tier rate, but it just hurts knowing I had 0.5 more. Stationary enemies, meat cube's best friend. There's another curse room that I do not have the balls to go in. To be fair, I've skipped three curse rooms now. Had I gone into all three of those, then I'd be dead now. <laughs> so, you know. You gotta, you gotta calculate the risk. That's unfortunate. A big portion of this game is risk management, right? All right, let's get something good. Not what I thought. I need to shut the blinds. Hold up. I have trouble seeing on these darker floors. It's that time of the year again, where I have that terrible glare from, from that window. Okay, let's go. Maybe I would have been Guppy by now. Yeah, unfortunately Guppy doesn't make you immune to dying either. So, uh, I'm not sure how much that would be worth. I haven't seen a mid boss yet, and this is the first floor where there can be greed in the store. I sincerely hope he won't be. Did this room really need mini pins? I don't know, man. I personally don't think it did, but I got taken a bit off guard by that. Nine lives does. Nine lives does do that, that's true. But the odds still aren't very high that I would have gotten nine lives out of those curse rooms. Spider mod! Alright, the run is won. Our savior is here, chat. Twitch chat is happy. Twitch chat is always happy about spider mod. I, uh, I asked around on YouTube, by the way. If the YouTube community is as big on spider mod as the Twitch community, and it turns out they are. YouTube absolutely is also a, a group of spider mod believers, so... I guess everyone can be happy now. Except for me, who will once again feel compelled to blow up the mushrooms in here. Leave and re-enter to align myself in the center, and don't get anything.
good stuff. And it's the Gertie that only spawns enemies as well, so I can just park myself here and take him out. Sweet! No devil deal. We finally get some uh, well-deserved dessert. And you know what? I have enough HP now to go into the curse room. How can one survive when it's plus 27 outside and heating is still on? You know, I, I get that a lot from my girlfriend, who is like an at-home caretaker, right? So, like, in the summer, she'll go to a lot of elderly people's houses. She'll go to a lot of elderly people's houses, and they have their heating cranked all the way up in the middle of summer. And then she also has to give them a hot shower. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> But I think when you get old, your whole perception of, like, heat and cold changes a lot, right? Like, these old people literally need their homes to be that hot. To, to actually feel the heat. Maybe that's just me. I don't, I don't know. I, I think that's how it is. I've never been old, so I can't tell you. At least not that old. I'm, I'm a grandpa by content creator standards, for sure. But I wouldn't quite call myself old yet. Then again, I also know that if you're like 15, you wholeheartedly disagree. I'm gonna pop that so it's out of the way. Oops. Alright, nothing from the red chests. Sag. Do, 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 do. That was a bit rude. Bro spawned right in front of me. Well, I need to become old right now to enjoy the kind of thing you know, my apartment is right now. But have you considered not being so hot? How is my time off going? Pretty good. I mean, I uh, I can't complain. I closed out a sponsorship deal for later today. <laughs> kind of things you can do when you have some time on your hands. And it's just nice to, to be away from work. I mean, I think everyone who goes to work knows that. But yeah, it's, it's nice to have time off. I, I like my job, but... It's also nice to uh, to get some time off to do the things you love, and and to have some time where I this is still work time for me, right? Because this whole content creation thing is my side gig, and I would like to make it my main gig. So every time I have time off of my my day job, is when I try to put a lot more time into my content creation. So yeah. Playing games isn't work. All right, if you say so. The the high council of what is and isn't work has spoken. That I am indeed not working here. I am uh I am executing my hobby and getting paid for it. Now, please note that if you like cars and you're a car manufacturer, you literally don't have a job. Can we, uh... No, we can't. That's unfortunate. At least I did. Wait, what did, what did I miss in chat? Why is somebody saying at least I didn't reproduce? <laughs> I... <laughs> why are why are we glad about not reproducing? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Oops. Dude, I'm getting pretty low on HP. I need to be more careful. Like imagine you just crash into a conversation, two people you know talk, 
you know and you you're like you go over to say hi and the first thing you hear is at least i didn't reproduce like <laughs> what is what is happening why are we why are we talking about reproduction and why are we glad we we missed out on it jesus the butter bean i'm gonna touch you because i can i'm pretty sure i have half a soul heart now it's not great because kids are stupid well i mean that's one of the perks of being a kid is that you get to be stupid and nobody minds Misses throwing rocks from his glass house. Yeah, I mean, he tends to do that. Jesus. I'm, I'm gonna need some damage on this bad boy here. Because I don't love where I'm at. You also get to be an ass and nobody can do anything about it. That's not true. If kids are kids to other... Uh, uh, if kids are asses to other kids, they usually get their... Get their butts kicked. Man. I don't even want to take a devil deal now because I really don't... I don't know how much HP I have. It can't be too much. I mean, I haven't taken red heart damage yet. Maybe I can get an angel room. I haven't taken red heart damage yet. So at least I'm clear on that front. But man, I took a lot of hits on this floor, and I don't like it. Uh, nope, it's a devil deal. I, I literally think I'm out of soul hearts. I would love to get more of the void, but it's also my own fault for being here and not being able to take it. I think I have two red hearts. And then even, yeah, I have two red hearts. Dude, I need to pull myself together. <laughs> ah, yes, mini pins. <laughs> My favorite. Stop reading chat. It's like an addiction, man. It's like social media, you just can't get away from it. Once you're in its clutches. The chariot. <sighs> On fort. Oh, I'm gonna blow that guy up to uh, shift my... That almost landed on me. To shift my odds in favor of an angel room. Read your enemies. I, I should do that. That's actually sound advice. Just read your enemy's forehead. Okay, take that back then. Nope, no backsies. I don't need that key. <laughs> let's just, let's not lose our devil deal for that and half our remaining HP. Okay, what's in here? Oh, okay, well. We're going to be spending some time here and money because this guy is very likely to give me a health up. And I I would really fancy a health up right about now, you know, which is why he's giving me the fanny pack. Probably going to put some some money into that. Um, What's he called? Probably putting some money into that rotten beggar later on as well, because he can give me bone hearts. weird room soul of eden tempting uh oh battery beggar pong uh, uh. 
Jesus! That was scary. Still have a heart on the ground though. Just gotta make sure I don't run into spikes. Jesus! Oh, I should have peeped in here first. This is a blue baby run. How is this so challenging? This is supposed to be easy peasy. Judgment. All right. Your, your brethren did not give me a health up. How about you? Good sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh oh. That's a, that's a nasty room on low damage. That is not a great room on low damage. Uh, let's go. Bro, does this floor have an item room and a store? <laughs> what is this? The store is going to be greed. That's the worst part. Oh? Oh. Imagine watching this dum dum for six or three times straight. Yeah, I mean, I'm as puzzled as you are about that, but I'm also not going to complain about you. Okay, I'm turning into a spider baby here. Gulp. Gulp. Don't be greed. Yes! Okay, I'm taking that because I have PhD. It's actually health up pill. That's fantastic. I mean, I might as well take booster pack, right? It's the last floor. Queen of Hearts, Sun card. World card, Emperor. Man, oh, that's... Man we pulled some cards here. And I don't know what to do with all of them. I shouldn't have bought the Soul Heart yet. I know exactly what we're going to do, actually. Two of diamonds. I didn't even notice that the first time around. Okay. Queen of Hearts could be good for the Devil Beggar. I was actually thinking about the Sack Room because I didn't think about the Demon Beggar, but maybe I'm going to play that guy. Huh, Sack Room or Demon Beggar? I mean, honestly, between that and the sun card, I'm probably going to have enough for both. But I think I'm going to get here first. Oh, I even get a... Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have enough for both. <laughs> Is that 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19! There could have actually been one more. Could have actually. The maximum is 20. <laughs> that was a, a good roll. I have to say. Mm. Missed both. <laughs> I don't care about Uriel. Oh no, no, that's fine, that's fine. I thought I messed up just now, but the Demon Beggar takes the Red Hearts directly, so it's okay. Alright, health fixed. <laughs> the health situation has been fixed, ladies and gents. I am happy to report. Now let's say hi to this gentleman. Hanged man, question mark. Don't care. Fanny pack trying its hardest here to make it so I don't have to backtrack. But this guy just doesn't want to pay out. <laughs> I have empty vessel uh, active now too.
Not anymore. Come on, you mean person. You know I can just force you to give me the thing I want. So how about you give it to me? Such low move speed, that's okay. I'm so powerful with my 2.82 move uh, tier eight and 4.5 damage. I don't need move speed. <laughs> Can you use Demon Beggar twice on one hard due to invincibility frames? Uh, that was in Flash Isaac. That's not a thing anymore here. And that was only possible in Womb where you took full hearts of damage and got more iframes. All right, that's two out of three spun. Also, euthanasia is pretty good. So, uh, no complaints here. I'm probably gonna keep Soul of Eden instead of the Emperor card. The Emperor card is much safer, but Soul of Eden is more fun. So I think we're doing that. I found all you need is enough damage in this game. Uh, that is a very correct assessment of this here video game. Spooters! Jesus Christ, mom, that was weak. Imagine stepping on a spider and dying from it. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. Good job. Depends on the spider. True, true. What was that jump, sir? Okay, these guys get wacky when they're slowed. <laughs> Did you know you need to bring the HP to zero to kill an enemy? I hope you're not talking about my HP. Because that would be a lie. Bringing that to zero. Bringing that to zero makes it so the enemy is gone too, but... Man. I, I could really use a bit more damage. Like... We're not in a, a super great spot. We're not in a spot where I should be taking as much damage as I am, but... I have definitely had easier runs. Especially to Blue Baby! Imagine struggling to go to Blue Baby. Uh, let's check what these are. Two of clubs, sure. Double bombs. Eh, might as well pop that here. Wow, I'm going the complete wrong way. Jesus. Jesus. Power move, just delete the game. Okay, Monica. Uh, blow up this guy. You know what? How hilarious would it be if that was a magic mush? Oh. Into Drock. Whoops. <laughs> Sir, you need to work on your pathing. I'm afraid. God, I hate these guys. Easily some of my most hated enemies in the entire game. Fantastic. 
I mean, that's part of the implied risk of opening all that, all those chests at the same time. That was 100% my fault. Oh, Jesus. Now I remember why I don't do Woob Challenge Rooms. That was rough. I'm I'm running out of soul hearts way too fast here. Sure, a mini pin. <laughs> I'm still gonna sacrifice that bone heart to go in here. I'm too greedy for guppy pieces, and I know that. Yeah, that challenge room was an adventure. I feel like I'm gonna regret soon enough not taking that sun card with me. Look at how long it takes me to charge this thing. This thing being brimstone. This is a cursed run. This sure isn't an easy run. I, I'm assuming this is a really good room is top left actually, but I'm here now, so I'm gonna try this. Was that smart? to use this thing here. I, I can't imagine that was. Yeah, it's top left and I need to go for it. Like I'm, I'm too desperate for things here. Flasher, flash era with Brim and Quachon. Anyone remember Brim snapping? And like, I, I know it's top left, but um, oh, never mind. Actually, wow. I didn't know it was top left, apparently. I know I know nothing. I, I don't know. All right, let's hit an angel room, ladies and gents. A quick and fun warm-up run, as they say. I'm so glad that isn't Matriarch. <laughs> I, I potentially could have had a really bad time here. If this was a difficult boss. Excuse you? Okay, well, it's another devil deal. Well, scythes are great. Question is, do I actually want Eden's Blessing here? No, I'm definitely taking scythes, right? Do I Eden's Blessing a single item? A single devil deal item, too? Is that... Can that be the play? I feel like that can't possibly be the play. But if I don't use it here, I'm gonna have to wait until the chest to get anything out of it. I'm using it, I talked myself into it now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the play. <sighs> Mr. Cheever, why? <laughs> But do you know why it's going to taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Really hope that's not to be as that is not about to be as morbid as I. Uh... This with the premium joke. Curse of the Lost, fantastic. That start should make this miles easier. Because we actually have better room clear now by virtue of having piercing. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Liberty Cub. Mm. <sighs> Why do I still fall for these? I hate buttons, man. Yo, euthanasia. Dude, I got so confused by that. Jesus. You know, with euthanasia, uh, a good amount of lockups could really fix this build too. This is a pin room. Alright. Sure, if that's how you want to play it, game. Guppy hunt has not gone well. No, we're still in the guppy waiting room after all these floors and we haven't really made any progress. God, I hate these guys. The fact that they can just pop up in a random spot and immediately fire at you. I'm friends with 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. That's pretty good. What's your least favorite non-boss enemy? Probably those guys, honestly. Like, I, I think they're pretty bad. But basically anything that can teleport and show up in big rooms is a, a big... A big pet peeve of mine. Oh, good lord. Or, you know, things that have an aggro radius across the entire room. Are a big hit too. At least you can hear those guys, so it's somewhat fair. But in a lot of scenarios, they still don't know where TF they come from. Get the eyeball first. Definitely can't go into that curse room. No tinted rocks. Man, I, I entered womb one with 12 hearts and I'm down to three. This has been not a great showing for me. And I also really need to start play stop playing like this. Because otherwise we're not making it through this run. <sighs> My favorite. I'm gonna blindly fire up there until I see what I'm supposed to. Is there like a stationary dude over there? Oh. No tenor rocks. No tenor rocks. Enemy tier list when. Alright. We have arrived. Super Secret is probably somewhere down here. That's the whole reason I'm going down there. I still have a bunch of red hearts on the floor too. Like I would really like to find the Super Secret. There's a lot of good Super Secret rooms here. I was about to say, I have so many bombs, I can just bomb every wall. I can go to the curse room with that, but if I get hit in the curse room, I'm dead.
Not a great outlook. You know what is a great outlook? That's so hard. Blind pills. No, I can take pills. I have PhD. Did I have I left behind pills? I didn't leave behind pills, right? Actually, hold up. Right, I have PhD. <laughs> Elf up. Rent's till the end. I mean, that's better than nothing. I have PhD. Right, dude, Chad is a genius. Chad didn't even tell me I had PhD, but still, Chad's a genius. I can go to the curse room now too. If I end up losing the soul heart in months in the mom fight, I will. I don't have sulfur, but that's okay. Like my boss clear with the booger tears is actually really solid. As you can see. Okay, what's in here? Okay. <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh... <laughs> hey, Kay, K Kay? I, I don't know how I pronounce that. Thank you for the prime time. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, if I can somehow make it to the cathedral, I'm going to get a second wind. Although at this point, it's more like a fifth wind. One makes you small. I still haven't figured out if these things actually make your hitbox smaller. But I always take him expecting they do. That pronunciation of your name is so offensive. I'm sorry. Kai? Kai? I, I have no idea. I, I really don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Just because it's an invented word doesn't mean you can... Ah, you made me feel bad there for a second. Which is fine. That is Twitch chat's job. But, but still, how dare you? Don't get hit by that, eh? Now that he doesn't stomp randomly unannounced anymore... I really have no excuse to actually lose HP to this guy. Am I not opening those guppy chests? I mean, I am, but... I'm, I'm really gonna regret this, am I? Actually, that's acceptable. Also acceptable. Yes! A steam sail in cathedral! Ooh, good good chest. Good chest. Do I want that? I, I did, I'm gonna leave that for now. And think about it. I really don't know if I want that! <laughs> I don't know if that's a take! <laughs> if I had two guppy pieces, it would be a snap pick, but... I don't. We just need to find the guppy trinket. We have the guppy trinket. That is the one guppy piece we have. <laughs> I'm legally required. I really don't think I am legally required to lose three HP. Uh, oh, this is actually looking pretty promising. Hold up. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it would have been too easy. Oh. Darn. The way you play, you need those extra lives. I mean, I agree with you, but the three extra hits on this life could also be game-changing. Oh, man. I mean, 
mean, if it goes on like this by the end of the floor, it's actually gonna be risk free to take the guppy head, uh, to take the dead cat, so. I could take the dead cat and uh, milk this thing after I clear the floor, but. I might not even need to take the dead cat for it. I don't know. We, we're gonna continue clearing the floor and decide at the end what to do. Let's figure out how many hearts we have at the end of the floor and then decide what to do. I have a feeling about this for some reason. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Health up pill for after taking the dead cat. Could be an idea. I did just play an ad for the peasants. Obviously, if you're subbed, you're not going to get an ad, which is the whole point of that redemption. Health up pill is a sign. I don't know. You wanted the ad? Well, I mean, subscribers don't get ads. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Actually, I do. That's for subscribers, true. Unsubscribe, unfollow me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I didn't get you your ad. The tough life we live. I have to drop the cat photo now. I can't drop the cat photo! I gulped it! <laughs> Come on, bro, give me something good. Why would I eat the cat photo? I don't know, it looked yummy and I was hungry. Actually, hold up, let's clear the boss first and then play this guy so we can get the sulfur charged again. Aggro the fly, baby. Oh, what am I doing? I'm terrible. Gulpy waiting room. We're probably going to be here for a while because these guys don't have a high payout rate from what I've seen. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, I coaxed the game into giving me that item. <laughs> Oh, thank God, it's not blind. It's not blind! Bro! <laughs> no way did I... <laughs> no way! No way that was my chest. Dude, 
dude. I'm so slow. Like, I didn't mind it on depths, but... It's getting a bit annoying. I mean, that had to happen eventually. This really sucks. Woo. Soul of the Forgotten. The Sun question mark. And the tower. Uh. Dude, the fly baby. I mean, I could end up needing that. I wanted Lord, actually. Funnily enough, if I had I taken the first dead cat, I would actually be Guppy now. <laughs> what? Dude, this can't be a dead end. What the heck? I have, I honestly have a really tough time believing that uh, I'm gonna take that dead cat because that reverse sun card is actually really good and gives me a lot of extra HP for the final boss. Uh, I probably want to charge the sulfur before going into that big room. kind of a tough room do we want to go into that big room this looks like it could lead to the boss what if I use the card now then I'd lose a lot of hits Actually, no, I wouldn't, but I would have Curse of Darkness, and I don't want that. Oh, a quality four item, chat. The run is saved. Oops. I, I won't lie, I very much did not pay attention to Gluttony there. No, I can beat Blue Baby from here. We're fine. I learned the hard way, by the way, that you do not want to pop the Reverse Sun card on the Beast. So, um, I'm not going to tell you just how bad Curse of Darkness is in that fight, but just let me tell you, it is terrible. Don't do it. All right. That was a tough run. GG.